Hello everyone, today I am going to show you a very interesting practical where with the use of Ansible, where everything is totally automated. So what I am going to do is, this is my controller node and this is, uh, this is here, this is my controller node and right now in my AWS account only one instance is running, you can see. And So what I am doing is, I will run a playbook, what this playbook will do, it will configure uh, whatever I mean, whatever amount you want to launch instance, AWS instance you can launch, you have to just specify you want to launch 5 or 6, 100, 200 instance, it totally depends on you. It will launch and in the same way dynamically it will update the configuration file or we can say inventory file and in the same time automatically it will configure all of those 3 or 5 instance, it will configure web server there and copy our website, uh, the main website from this to there and they will now uh, start working as a new website we can see what i'm doing is this is one of my website which is running in my this controller node in this server and here we have each and every services available here in packet python code is also running here so what i'm doing is i'm copying the web pages of this website to all of my target node or the instance which we will create just after a few minutes so it is very interesting and at the same time i'm, all, I'm also uh, used a load balancer so we have to just put one ip that is ip of this server and it will work as a load balancer i will show you this one also. so everything is being automated here if i will go to my main setup file so which is here so if i will take tab so this is my main setup file and one more important thing here I have used the roles also. So here I have used roles also. So this is our file. First of all this file will run on my local host. Sorry. On my local host means this controller mode. What it will do is it will create instance or we can say AWS instance. What it will do is it will create AWS instance for us. As well as this one will do one more thing. It will update our inventory file at the same time uh, with those uh, new OS. Then we have second role which will run in all of the target node. What it will do, what this role is, this role name of role is web server. What it will do is it will configure web server as well as copy all of the uh, file uh, in my in my controller node I have there in these files there. Okay, and then we have the third role. What this role will do? This role will start load balancer. Uh, it will run in localhost. Obviously, uh, we use uh, this which is actually a proxy file configuration file in our localhost. It will do this. So this is quite interesting. So let's go to a workspace, which is workspace six, where I have all of my roles available here. See, we have three roles here. We have first role is create instance, second role is web server, and third role is load balancer. We have here one file also, which is a proxy file, which I will use in template uh, module. I will show you. So let's go to first first role and let me show you what I have used uh, inside here. Let's go to task and let's open our file. So this is our role. Um, this is our first role. What it will do is it will first of all uh, install Boto software in my uh, controller mode, which was a pip. Why I'm doing is because if you have to use anything in AWS, then from Ansible, then you should have Boto software. That's why I'm installing here. Second thing, what it will do is it will uh, it will from here it will take my credential. And after that, uh, um, after authenticate, it will in my region episode one that is Mumbai. In my subnet, this is one p subnet here, and with the key name like this, with the uh, instance type this, and all of the information here. The main thing is the exact amount how many instances you want to launch. It is in a variable, and it will here I have just give the variable name how many uh, instances you want to launch. Then it will uh, launch all of those instances with the name or tag demo, and it will uh, uh, store the output of this module in this variable. And uh, here I use when this because I was trying something. So here if I will do false, then it will not run this module. Here if it is true, then it will run this module. So what then the second module debug will just print the output of uh, the above uh, this uh, above. it will just print this variable this variable has the output of ec2 module then we have a third task here what it will do is it will fetch the details from episode 1b and what it and it will store the output in this instant details variable with this variable is very useful for us and we will use uh, so many times in future so let's now here i'm again using debug task what this will do is here we have the main line from this instant details it will fetch instances and here it will fetch index number what it is like here it, this is the first instance i have so this index is zero because uh it's because uh, this uh variable has out, uh, output in json form format so i have used like this so it is zero one two like this that's why here i've used loop and what it will fetch it will fetch public ip address and so means this and this is this output of uh this uh task is being stored in ip so it means this ip has a public ip and i'm using this loop on this variable what this variable is we will see this variable as well as the above uh, variable in our variable file this so let's go out and let me show let me show you uh, if i will again go to my create instances here i have op option of yes here if i will go if i will do a file then here i have my credential i can't show you and the second thing here i mentioned number of instances you want to launch right now i want to launch three i can give here 100 also but uh, i'm in a free tire i can't do like this and here we have this loose variable what this loop variable has that index which i've used 0 1 2 like uh, in reno in json or in any format we start from zero so this is all about uh, our we can say our create instance file it will do uh, very two very important thing for us that it, it is will first of all launch instance and then it will update inventory file of us also i think i forgot to show you that uh, inventory file option let me show you uh, yeah i forget so here in last i have that i am using a template what this template is doing is from the source ip1.txt it is just because in this source i have used actually ginger uh, variables and it will in this destination this is my main destination or we can say our inventory file so let me show you again let me show you that ip1 file what Exactly, I'm using for dynamic inventory. We have uh, so here for dynamic inventory, I have used Jinja. 
very well like here jinja i've used here like i'm using a for loop in my loops variable which i've showed you just before what it will do is it will form instant detail that is again the variable which i showed you it will fetch instances then here index number and will fetch public ip address for us so this is actually it is this whole thing is will just print one ip for us then this is our answer which is the same thing which we have and here the for loop is being like okay and here the our main inventory file which is ip.txt this is ip.txt i am deleting each and everything here in this file and you will see when we will run it, it has this output of, of my older i have tried something that's all i will delete each and everything you will see okay you will see it will done automatically automatically from uh, my ansible playbook let me show you uh, other uh, roles also so now the second role we have is web server let's see this with this one if i go to task so uh, here First of all, what I'm doing is I'm installing HTTP software in my target code. So, and then I'm installing Python 3 software. Okay. So, why I'm installing uh, Python 3? Because as I've showed, I will copy this all of the web pages of this uh, server, this website. So, here in backend, like anywhere, if you go in backend, Python is being used. So, that's why I'm installing Python 3 software here. Then, it will copy all of the uh, file which I have in my this folder of controller node and it will copy to this folder of target node. Then, it will copy all the CGI uh, file means all uh, my Python file or these files uh, there. Then, I'm using here, uh, make, I'm making one of my files to show you. Uh, how load balancers rule that's why i'm uh, making this file executable this cmd.py file we will use it uh, later i will show you there and then i'm just doing one more thing as because uh, even if i have, uh, let me show you if you go to this one here we can run any uh, terminal command if i will say i have config then this is my server right now controller also it's showing me ip but here i'm uh, updating my sudo uh, user file just because uh, your uh, linux os don't let your apache your server to come and run this system command so for that you have to go to your uh, sudo us file and you have to uh, allow apache and you have to give permission to apache and that's why i am copying this file from my uh, controller node to this uh, one to my target let me show you this one so if here you will go uh, if here you will be uh, go etc sudo prs so here i have to give permission to my apache to run this command if i did not uh, give uh, me apache a permission like here i am giving uh, this apache permission to run all of time of command here and it will not ask for any type of password uh, to apache and here I, I mentioned that i can run apache can run any type of command so that's why i am using this we are very much we are doing here let's go back to uh, our, the, our third one which is load balance it is quite uh, good let me go to load let me go to task let me go open this one it is doing just one thing from this IH proxy configuration file here i use ginger template uh, from ginger uh, I, I just use here variables and here if you, this is my IH proxy main configuration file it will paste here it is, we are, i'm running this one in my uh, local host only because uh, in our setup file we have mentioned let me show you that IH proxy file uh, so let me go to here you will see here I have actually proxy configuration file. Here I have ginger template. Let me open this, and uh, which is so here I in this whole file I haven't done anything. But just in the last again I use the for loop in the loops variable again, and here it will just uh, index number, and then here this is fetching our public ID. Nothing more. It is uh, this only it is doing. So let's come out. So this is all about uh, thing which we are doing. Let me clear. Uh, so now we have uh, each everything uh, present in front of us. So let's go see here just one instance I have. So let's go and launch. Uh, just go and run our playbook. So I am going to this. We are going to run my playbook. So here we go. It will do H and everything. Right now, uh, I have Boto software in my uh, controller node. That's why it's in green. Right now, it's creating instance. You can come here and here you will see. Right now, I'm going. It is creating in backend. Pause. If you will refresh again, then you will see two instances it has launched. It is launching the third one here. And here we go. It has launched all of these three, three instances here. Now, we, here it's also given uh, give us a report like this. One of them has IP one twenty two last in last. So here it, it have one twenty two in last. So here it shows a DT also. So okay. So why this error come here? There's a very big reason for here. See till here it is initializing OS. OS has been launched, but till now it is initializing. It didn't happen uh, much time, but right now it's happened. So that's why till the time it is initializing, no one uh, can enter to or log into that OS, and that's why it get failed because it can't uh, fail to connect the host via SSH. So that's why it's uh, failed here. If uh, here we can use one uh, way, we can wait it for. Uh, uh, running this task for a few seconds so so that it can be initialized properly see uh, now even now it's not initialized it's initializing in the backend in the backend uh, aws is set up doing setup of all of the things it has allotted us uh, public and private ip but it's initializing it. so for that we can do here what it was doing is here we have uh, here if we will go to our ip file here you will see ip file has been uh, changed by yeah see here each and every uh, like i have showed you one that was able to would be there also let me show you See this one is working file. So every, I, our uh, inventory file has been done, but this is the problem from there. What we can do is we can wait for that. So now we can see here uh, status has been done. So what uh, I have to do, I have to do a small change. It doesn't happen each and every time. Uh, AWS is very fast in this. But uh, so I will run my display book one more time. But it will again install three OS for me, which can cost me. So what I will do is I will uh, just go to well, go and do a change. Here I will go to my sorry uh, task, and I will do this one 
true. Uh, it was true. I will do it first so that it will not uh, run this module. It will not run this module. So it will not again install and or we can say launch any OS for us. Now it will work fine for us. Let's go to our hobby space file where we have to run. Let's clear it each and everything. And let's run this one more time. And now you will see each and everything will be in a better way. So now it is skipping both of them. You can see till here create instance role was uh, working but now web server role is going what is web server role is doing with first of all it is installing uh http software that is installing python 3 software uh, here and then now it is copying my web server files we know we have in bad form bad wwhtml2 again web wwhtml target mode so it will take a bit of time here we have seen like these three os and all of them are working fine see all of them are working fine and and these are the ip it has fetched for us we had used uh, JSON format to fetch it because AWS providers output in JSON format. Now it is going copy and till now we will uh, see uh, here a great pattern here. Let it copy. So here we have seen it has uh, a copied HTML file here. Now it is copying all of the files inside CGI bin folder. So it has copied here. Now, uh, okay, so our debug uh, has run successfully. Uh, it is very great. First, uh, here we have uh, let me explain you. Here we have done this. Then here it is running by command module to uh, make our mycmd.py file executable because I want to show you uh, one practical there. Then it is copying that template which I showed you to so that Apache can have access and can do something there. And then it is starting services here. Now, after all of these things, see our third role is uh, running now, which is load balancer, and it is uh, done this one. So let's go and uh, see our uh, our each and every file. I, uh, everything has been done. Let me show you one file which is HAProxy. I have shown you at that time also. Let's go to there. And J proxy and here here we go here we can see it has uh, edited this file very uh, in a very intelligent way here we have wanted to go to each IP it has written here you can match on there see 122 it is 122 it is okay so now each and everything has been turned uh, and if I uh, run here system CTL H proxy so our H proxy is working fine now I am going to show you uh, one command and I have to show you one more thing here here I have used there that I will use H proxy at a 0 port so let me show you so this was uh, one website which I was showing you it was in a 181 IP so let me show you this one is 81 IP our main server controller node this is 81 and here I will write till now see it was it is printing 131 IP which is this controller node IP but right now I will write here port number a 0 0 and Boom! See, it's now showing IP 235. Means right now we are getting this web page from uh, which one of them? Let me see. 235 is this one. So I am now getting a web page from this or my server. If I will refresh it again, then I am getting this file from 198. So see 198, where it is. Uh, so it is not right. Last one is 198. So you see, I am now getting with 198. And one of them. And if you will refresh again, you again get 235. If you refresh again, you get 53. 53 is which one? 53 is this one. So here we can see. Uh, we have configured uh, very well. Uh, here we have configured HA proxy load balancer each and everything. Now, each time you will refresh, you will get a new IP. It's means showing, it's showing that that's so we are getting a new new or uh, from different different places. Okay. So what we have uh, so here our playbook has been done successfully. We have to not do uh, anything here. This playbook has done each and everything. Um, it was really a great uh, practical uh, for industry use case. So, so, uh, so that's all for today, guys. Uh, thank you all. It was really a great practical to do this. Here we can see each and everything. And here if you want to see the website from any of them, let's see from this one, I would like to see the website. So I, as I've said to you, I have deployed each and every uh, web page uh, everywhere. So, auto web. so good way. So here I'm using this uh, of my, uh, this target node, obviously this server. And here we have again those file which was firstly in my controller node only. See, anything you can do. And it is very easy now for all of us. And it's, the main thing is, it is all automated by NC. That's all for today guys. Thank you.